Dean, Jared, and Jensen. The youngest dad on television. The hottest dad on television. You guys have aged a little bit. I have. <laughs> Just like, uh, wow, the crowds have really sized down since the last time. What happened? They didn't sell the jersey. They didn't sell the back now. Uh, I'm Jersey. <laughs> How's it going? Better Julie, now. Say, better now. Okay. Very, very cool. No lack of clad in the audience. That's how I always like to see people. That's right. It's a sea of clad. Sea of clad. Well, now I'm self conscious. You fit in! Yeah. I fit in. Yes. I fit in. I'll take it. Just take it all off. Sure. Oh, okay with that. Sure. Make it look good. We're awake now. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Not from oh, yeah, I can't help it from this guy. Yeah. I'm the troublemaker. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah, our father's carved a wide swath for us. <laughs> no, I'm fucking up following in my way. <laughs> hey, did anybody go to the concert last time? I went and saw, uh, I went and saw dear Evan Hansen. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and within the first 20 minutes, I was like, okay. I know, right? All right, I'm just going to go. I cry when I hear the soundtrack. My God. I haven't even seen it yet. Yeah. Uh, I wasn't prepared. Dear, dear Evan Hansen, it kind of like swept the Tonys this year, like Hamilton. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So like a fourth Hansen brother? Or? Yeah. <laughs> Oh. So I thought the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> same thing. Uh, well, yeah. we are, uh, Jensen and I are midway into episode seven. And, and Jeff is midway into what? Episode 12 right now? That's, it. That's exactly right. Woo! How did you know that? Math, baby. Man, he did some good math. Yeah. He looked yeah. it up on his phone. Yeah. It's the circles under my eyes. It's gotta be 12. <laughs> it's right, it could be 10. Usually it happens around 11 or 12. Well, the first 10 episodes, it's bags. Then it becomes circles. Yeah, but God. Uh, by the end of it, you're just a skeleton. Uh, shadow. 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 I hear you. Uh, well, we, we know you guys have been waiting, so before we just jibber jabber about the bags under our eyes, let's, uh, let's get some questions. All right. Mr. Morgan, why don't you start this mug on? Oh, hell yes. How about this young miss here? But yeah, you, you, you know. <laughs> Look at this, watch me play this. There's a microphone coming your way. That was not a question, by the way. <laughs> Hi? <laughs> Instead of Mary. Ooh. I'd like to hear the answer to that. <laughs> I, think, I think Sam would have been pretty angsty. Uh, season 12 was fun as an actor to kind of play that, uh, you know, Sam knew his dad. Uh, so they had their, they had their kind of uh, quarrels and troubles. Um, Sam didn't know his mom, so for Sam specifically, it would have been kind of a, a either way, it was kind of a, a chance to, to redo it, right? Like a, a, a rebirth of a relationship, so. I think we would have made it work. It would have been an angsty. I think it would have been a proper work. Yeah, let's go with angsty, yeah. I, uh, 
I often I, I kind of battled with that for the for the, most of the season is because at the end of, of uh, season eleven, uh, Amara says, "I'm going to give you what you need the most to to D." And of course, straight legs. I would think, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who needs that? Keep your straight legs. I like the I like the bow legs. Bow legs for life. It's like you just got off the horse. Um, <laughs> straight legs. We love you the way you are, Jensen. Yeah, I know. I think. Um, but I always thought that Dean, that what Dean would at least want the most was to have his father back. And so I kind of battled with that for a long time. I was like, well, maybe. Maybe, maybe uh, they just couldn't get Jeff. He was he was a little busy, and, and they were like, "Well, okay, let's go with mom." Um, but it, it actually, and then at the end, when we see Dean uh, have that that kind of dream sequence with mom, and it and it all comes out, it all floods out that he has resented his mother for what she had done at such such an early age. Then it all kind of tied in and made sense of, oh, that's what he needed the most was to forgive his mother. Uh, so. I think it would have been a totally different dynamic as far as the storyline goes, but uh, to have that impact of having Mom back and what that meant for my character at least was, I think, pretty awesome. Thank you. Wow. Excellent question. <laughs> I'm gonna go with oh, and we would have had an extra tool in the trunk, a bat wrapped with barbed wire, so that would have been... Dad loved that thing. <laughs> I'm gonna go, I see some flowers on. That was cool, by the way. Yeah. I haven't seen these since that was on the that was, television. That was super cool. So, did I tell you how that happened? Uh -huh. So, our, our third AD, Lee, uh, uh, one of our assistant directors, it was Halloween last year, and he was gonna go as an eagle yeah. for Halloween. And so, he'd spent, he got the bat, and he, you know, got the barbwick, like, did, did the whole thing. Like, he, he put some time into it. And so, I asked him, I was like, oh, I wanna see the bat. And so he brought it up to me, and I was like, I kind of have to take a picture of this. <laughs> so that's where it came from, yeah. Yeah, but how did you get it in the show? Oh, because you so worked it in. It was, so it was, yeah, it was after the, the picture. That yeah, I after the answer. And the writers saw that, and they were like, well, pff, we're using that. That was awesome. <laughs> and I was waiting, because AMC could kind of be assholes about stuff like that. Oh, you know, really? oh sure. Um, <laughs> you can wait for them to come down on that. Creators of the show, uh, of Walking Dead, when they saw it, just thought it was the greatest thing ever. Yeah. There are cameras out there. Watch how they were saying. Oh yeah, we we'll delete that. No. And she is awesome. I'm so thankful for them. They were so precious about their Walking Dead, as they should be. Just like CW is a little precious about Supernatural. No, they're great. CW is great. AMC is awesome. A fire network has never been out there. <laughs> and they treat me well. Oh, I'm so fired. Well, that's the end of the meeting. Let's bring Joan back. <laughs> Thank you. you know you look like a Snapchat filter. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, thank you for making this the best birthday ever. Um, uh, I kind of want to ask, what was uh, Jerry Jensen? What were your favorite things with about working with Jeffrey? And Jeffrey, how does the set of Supernatural like? How did that feel like? different from the set of Walking Dead? What makes it what makes it so separate other than their different shows? I'll start with I, I would <laughs> there's two cast members as opposed to fifty. <laughs> That's true. I remember meeting Jeff um, during the pilot. We had shot something the same day, like we shot during the daytime and he was shooting his stuff that night. And so we crossed paths and met, but obviously I didn't we didn't work together in the pilot, it was a couple episodes further. Um, 
This one. Yeah. yeah, maybe, 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 the show has been on for like 47 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair. <laughs> Is that true? Yeah. 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 36. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we figured, I think that was a couple years ago we did the math on it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway. Why? We're all old. So that just means we're all fucking old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Amen to that. Yeah. Um, it was really neat. Uh, uh, so we finally worked together. The problem is, is I love Jeff, but Sam has issues with John, you know? So sometimes, Never, I guess. Yes, exactly. Sometimes that can be difficult, because you're like, you know, they call action, you do your bit, they call cut, and you're like, sorry I'm barking at you, man. Like, you know, I love you. Uh, but uh, uh, it, it would be nice to have him back when AMC fires him. <laughs> <laughs> AMC's awesome. In case I didn't mention it earlier. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I will say that when he, uh, when the storyline took John away from him, Jeff, uh, away from us, uh, I was bummed out and I, I remember talking to Kirky about it. He was like, listen, I love Jeff, I'd love to keep him, keep him around, but as the story goes, it's, it's not, it's a story, uh, about these two brothers, uh, fighting, you know, fighting the fight and also dealing with the loss of loved ones. And in order for that to happen, we have to, you know, and you've noticed over the course of many seasons, we, we do lose the ones that are close to us. It's kind of like the brothers are cursed in that way. But, um, but he was, uh, you know, having him on set is like having a, it's almost like having a third brother on set. You know, we're, we're all, it's, it's just, it's super easy and we all get along, we all understand. Uh, the work in, in kind of the same way, and so uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun when you get people like Jeff, and we, we've been blessed to have uh, a lot of other people come through the doors at Supernatural who just who just fit right in the pocket. We just and we you know we all it's all syn synced up. It's nice. But man, how fun would it be to come back? I, I haven't worked with these guys in ten years. It's yeah. been like at least ten years. So yeah. I think to be able to come back now or Whenever, <laughs> whenever, when AMC sees the video, you guys, you guys post. Because um, it's been a long time, and we've all kind of grown. A, a, we were young; they were really young when I was last on the show. Now everybody's got kids, and we've kind of figured out a little bit how to do our job. Parenting. <laughs> <laughs> I might be a better dad now. At least understand it. Yeah, for sure. And I'm super blind right now too in my life, so I couldn't read post-its on your forehead anymore. <laughs> oh, that was... Have you ever told that story? No, but I saw that you guys have told that story. Yeah, of course we have. Um, we never heard it from you though. No, uh, yeah, yeah. There were, I remember the day. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I, the problem. I was doing Grey's Anatomy and Supernatural at the same time, and then I was just. That guy's dead too. Um, and then ABC, another great network, by the way. <laughs> the, the, the bad story is. Well, isn't that just. Is it Grayson Adams? Oh, yeah, that's the wrong Yeah. You have to look strong. You've got like the Midas uh, touch. The bad story is if you're an actor on a show, you have what's called a turnaround. So if you film until midnight, they can't bring you until noon. That doesn't. Which is a union contract thing. That's not the case if you're on two different shows. No, they, they, really, they don't care. Yeah, they don't care, so they'll fly you. And you were going like, you were doing grays until 4 a.m. Yeah, and then I would come in and then I'd be with these guys, and then I would just break into fits of giggles half the time. I mean, literally, I would have my lines, like, on their foreheads and stuff, because I just couldn't memorize it all. And they, needless to say, get me a ton of shit. Yeah. And, and still, 13 years later, I'm hearing about it. Absolutely. Um, but now, because I'm blind as a bat, I can't, uh, I can't do that. You actually have to memorize. I have to memorize my lines. And, you know, Negan, AMC, Talks a lot. AMC's awesome. Um, <laughs> Negan doesn't shut up, like, ever. Yeah. On the drive here this morning, I came in 
from my farm, and I have a I have a twelve page monologue tomorrow that starts at what? four thirty, ages? and no one says anything but me. That's true. Yeah. 
So we're out of that period now. It must have been something else a while ago. That's why it's been rosy since uh, season eight, right? <laughs> That's pretty funny. I never thought about that. You broke multiple mirrors, so it's we gonna did. Be multiple did they compile? Yes. Break yes. two? Oh, it's so for every mirror you break is seven years. Seven years? Yeah. Oh. oh, yeah. Now then we're, we're screwed. That's. I think you nailed it. Stop breaking mirrors, and this show could end before you're 97. <laughs> it could end on a happy note. There you go. You know what I mean? The mirror thing's behind us. Supernatural. <laughs> the senior years. <laughs> Do you know how many we broke? A lot. A lot. A lot. The entire room. A lot. Right? The entire room. I, if I remember correctly, it was more Sam that broke them. Yeah, actually, I <laughs> That's why you can't have nice things. Yeah, that's, that's why we don't have nice things. That's true. We're girlfriends. We're girlfriends. Uh, I'm going to go with my boy in the back, white shirt. Yes, sir. <laughs> I just want to say that it was awesome when you guys made the, your separate horror movies, but My Bloody Valentine and Friday the 13th. I have both of them on DVD. Oh, no way. Thank and, you. And my question is for Jensen. Okay. In the first two seasons, your voice is really high. <laughs> <laughs> this is balls, Bob. I can answer this for you. Oh, yeah, it's called puberty. <laughs> so it wasn't you. You didn't do that purposely. <laughs> no, um, actually, I'm glad you asked that because the, the reason the reason I now have medical issues with my throat is I don't is <laughs> is because uh, this guy uh, I thought okay well. Dean looks up to his father so much. And Jeff had this this very kind of baritone, uh, uh, deep voice, Sexy. Um, and I just I, I thought from a character standpoint, I'm like, well, that's that's where he needs to end up at some point. So I started lowering the register kind of slowly and slowly. Is that true? Yeah. Really? Yeah. And um, that's what started it. And then as I kind of, of course, as I got older, my voice just naturally kind of got deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. And deeper, and deeper, and deeper, and deeper. <laughs> And so, what's funny now, because I think it was last year, I was the same age as he was when he did the, we did the pilot, and I was like, oh, okay, this must have been what it felt like to, <laughs> to have this voice. To have puberty. Yeah, <laughs> to, to, to hit puberty at the age of 35. Um, and uh, yeah, so, but originally it was a conscious effort to kind of follow his lead. Uh, and then, uh, and it's just kind of led me to here, so. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> Well, and then, and then Jared didn't want to be left in the dark, or left behind, so he was like, well, wait, if you're going low, I'm going low. Exactly. And, um, like, to be on the show with Jensen, who's using his low register, Mark Shepard, who's like, oh, uh, Misha doing his cast no, of voice. No, I'm a bitchy from perdition. <laughs> I'm like, well, what am I supposed to do? I just have a normal voice. Like, <laughs> am I supposed to lie? <laughs> Dude, what's up, dude? Yeah, that's been a fun show to be on. The original... I feel like the soprano of the cast. The original uh, tagline of the show was the, uh, yeah, um, save me, hunting things, save me people, the family business. They, so I said that in, the, in season one, that tagline, they used that tagline for promos for years. Oh. I had to, I think it was a year or two ago, I had to go back and re-record that line. Because your voice would change. Because it was like, I can dance, say anything for the movie. <laughs> and so I had to re-record it so that they could use it. Uh, yeah. Amazing. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Ackles, you're up. Uh, how about right here in the aisle? Yes. Stop touching your microphone. Good morning. First Good of all, morning. congratulations on your growing families. Thank you. Thank you very much. I have like a pretty Girl, Wait, do you know something I don't know? <laughs> congratulations. Yeah. It all still works. <laughs> yeah, and Jared, uh, Jen's pregnant too. <laughs> You're telling me. <laughs> I have a, like a creative question. 
the music on the show is really integral part. Are you guys done messing around? <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! I've been here for ten minutes trying to get this question off. The music on the show is really an integral part of the storytelling. Yeah. Who chooses that? Is it a writing thing? A directing thing? And is there a song that hasn't been on the show yet that you guys would like to hear? I mean, a dozen songs that I'd like to. It's, there is there is some music. There's some music that is dictated by the script that they write in uh, to the script. That's that's pretty rare, uh, but it has happened a few times. Uh, most of the music that is put into the show is done in post production by our uh, post production executive producer Phil Sabrica, who is a music fanatic. Uh, so I'm glad he has that responsibility. Um, I think he's done a great job over the past 13 years with it, um, and and it's it's often. A lot of it is often dictated by what we can afford by the end of the, the production because uh, certain money is allocated for the, the production of the of the episode and whatever money is left over they usually try to use that to get to buy music and music is expensive so there's a lot of music that we would like to use that we just there's not money in the budget for um, so we kind of have to pick and choose but uh, that's that's generally where that ends up it's in the hands of, uh, of the post-production folks. I would love for the last episode of the show, I don't know what the song is called. It might be called This Is The End or The End by The Doors. Yeah. I would love for that to like, send us away. Uh, I think after 12 years though, the, the, you know, the Supernatural is such a phenomenon that I, I, I feel like bands now, especially because you guys play classic rock and roll and I think a lot of these bands it's a huge honor to you know what's be funny? part of the supernatural did you, world. Did you hear about our uh, dude the Kansas thing? Yeah. Uh, I watched it. I, I, I wasn't there in person I mean, but I watched the whole YouTube video. Um, it was insane. It was and there the were, there coolest were thing I've ever seen. Yeah. A, with Kansas on stage and then B, we had tried for years to use Metallica but they, it's not even a money thing, they just don't like they don't, like their music they don't like their music being used for TV things. shows for whatever reason, uh, which is fine, but they let us use Nothing Else Matters at Comic-Con for a recap. Like, they just, they finally, after 12 years, were like, yeah, cool, use it. And so we're going to have money for it, yeah. Yeah, they were like, yeah, that's just, you, you, guys, you guys are cool, you can use music. Yeah. They're like, wait, Metallica's going to let us use your music? That means, yeah. that means they actually know who we are, they were, like, worthy of it. We're finally, awesome. we're finally made men. Yeah. 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 And it really is the best soundtrack on television. I think it's yeah, so I've done a great job. And that was Kripke originally, right? Other than AMC. I mean, other than AMC. AMC. Oh, yeah. AMC. Woo! Thank you very much. Jeff, you're up. I was going to say, girl wearing the flannel. It doesn't really fucking help at all. Yeah, 30 30 people say, no. <laughs> yeah you're right. You, if y'all thought he was lying about being blind, Every the only eye that works is apparently like 12 degrees to the left. Well, I got, here's, the, here's the thing, I got lights shining my eyes there and there, and so I can't see any of y'all. So I got this section. If you want Jeff to ask you a question, you gotta stand just in <laughs> the All right, don't rub it in. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Whoa. Um, okay, my question is, who do you guys think would win in a fight, Egan or John Winchester? Ooh. John Winchester. Does John Winchester sure. have his Colt? Sure. Yeah. Well, he, he, doesn't, he can't bring a bat to a gunfight. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> all right, then, All right, so, so, so no one does. Well, what, what is Egan's, like, background? Uh, he was a, 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 a teacher. Uh, he was a physical education teacher. Right. John was a Marine. Yeah. <laughs> right? To an excellent point. The difference, the, 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 I, no, he I, was an English teacher. I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> PE teacher. Hey, he did ping, he taught ping pong. He's a, but I think there's also a difference in the mentality. I think the um, Negan is a bit crazy, and I think John had to put a bigger <laughs> head on his shoulder. So Negan is the guy that's going to kick you in the balls, whereas John would be like, I'll shake your hand before I'll kill you. That might be enough for me to kick him the balls and take him out. Yeah, crazy, crazy is always an X factor. Crazy factor. is the next factor. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Good question. You. And Tom Hanks and Saving Private Ryan was a English teacher. Remember? They had that bet going. 
Like, what do you mean? Like, oh, yeah. And, and finally, he's like, I was an English teacher. Just all sorts of fun facts. There you go. Tom Hanks, English teacher. Jensen, voice dropped. It's not all the problems. <laughs> <laughs> On that note.